welcome back and ooh, hey hello there and um <coughs> luckily enough also um another channel which we haven't really visited in a long while called scary hub this is top five scary uh, ghost videos that not, that nightmares made of now on one of the other videos i noticed they do a preview so when this all starts off look away because we don't want spoilers do we welcome back to scary hub today we show you five more scary horror stories caught on camera that you may find quite disturbing so be prepared for what you are about to see This first scary ghost story dealing with a paranormal comes to us courtesy of the ghost hunting team calling themselves Twin Paranormal. Yeah. The team visit an abandoned building that used to be a prison and it is believed that different methods of torture used to be done to the inmates. What they captured on camera is something you would only expect to see in a horror movie. These objects here, these, these balls which you see in my hand, somebody already made that one light up. Hey, you got balls here? A three. <gasps> just like that. And we just heard somebody upstairs. And useful thing about those is they're well cheap, they're basically cat balls, they're meant for cat stove. Dude, what the Something's there can't be any. It's, it's upstairs. Is there? Is there any windows upstairs? We, there's no, no windows that we could have opened. No. Mm. There's nothing. There's nothing that could be causing it. Bro, the windows upstairs have like plywood over them, like sand and, and, and metal sheets. Yes. Metal sheets, bars, yeah. everything. I'm gonna go ahead and set these balls down real quick. They light up. It's just how you can show us that you're here. If you can slightly tap them, move them, they start to light up. We got one there. I'm just gonna keep putting them all over here. Can you growl again? Make a noise? Somebody just moved something. This was loud as f bro. Like a chair moved. Here. Wyatt, please do that again. Check her out. Just watch. She's looking right at you. Point at that riff. <laughs> Did, is that not Oh my shit. god, dude. I hate that. <laughs> her eye and her pupils are like. Sorry, I mean, I don't even yeah. mean to disrespect you. No, yeah, no means on. We're talking to each other here. We, we would like to speak with whoever is in here, if that's possible. Please. What? Did her eye just weak? Yeah. No. No way. I heard that. Oh, bitch. Was that you? That was two knocks. Dude. Oh my god, that, was that wasn't you. Look, can you please hold on to that EMF meter? What? Get up real quick. Just make sure. Yes, please. Dominant. Ooh, oh, dominant. Man. This is the the room with the, the like, room. yeah, the the dark spirit in it. <clears throat> I'm gonna move this. Her her eye is twitching, bro. It might. Her eye was just twitching. Me too. Dead. Yes. Dead? So close. Oh my god! I almost lost, lost, lost all my footage. Get this up, okay? That's just. 100%. Bizarre, bizarre. Oh, I don't either. Oh. Whisper. Can I ask real quick to anybody here in the jail? Could you make a very loud noise just to let us know where you might be? We would love to hear it from you. Dude, we need to. That's where it's coming from. You can, it's like you can almost hear it. Oh, 
almost hear the cells like moving. Right, like like right there. Right there. Right there. What's that? Move one of these doors. Hey. Your name. Well, my name's Ryan. My name's Colin. My name's Wyatt. My name's Jeffrey. The River. You guys hear that? Yes. That's a REM pod. Down in the office. In the sheriff's oh, office. This is eerie. This is where I'm stuck. Did you get stuck here? That's like. Turn it off. Yeah. Yeah, that was loud. Thank you. Oh, so we got it. Did you commit suicide? This is the woman's block. This side, right? yeah. This side's the woman's This side is the woman's block. Are you a woman? If you are, could you light that flashlight up? Do what you've been doing? What the f I got that. That was great. Immediately, too. Thank you so much. It didn't take long for them to start getting responses from their equipment. Most of the responses have been through different strange sounds, but they remain unfazed and continue the investigation, and they capture even more terrifying footage. Oh my god, there's no What the f dude? Oh, I remember this one. They, one of them stayed in the cell and they didn't feel very well. They felt a bit weird. I am getting some crazy sh Guys, please, hey, are you walking around? No. What is that? I don't know. I'm here in the middle cell. I have so much anxiety, you guys have no idea. So much anxiety. So much anxiety. Hello? If you're here, can you come out from in the hallway into this cell? Just walk in here and take a seat at this table next to me. There's somebody straight up there. <gasps> Who is that? <coughs> Guys? I'm in a cell where a man hung himself. I'm sorry. Whatever you're going through, it could have been better. What did you think of the sheriffs? Can you tell me what you thought of the sheriff? Oh, I heard oh, that. You calling? <laughs> Come sit by me. Come sit at this table. You ever wanted revenge on a sheriff? Someone who arrested you? You can have that right now. I'm yours. I just came on. Yeah, I'm yours. I'm yours. What do you want to do to me? Turn that light off if you want to hurt me. Come on, turn that light back off. Turn that light back off if you want to hurt me. God! Whoa, 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 whoa! Help me! Yeah, I mean, he was, he was, I mean, seriously, he was, yeah. You know, if you say faking it and all that sort of stuff, then they're good acting, that's what I'm saying, because he was really, I remember this one, he's really bricking it. Whoa! 
channel is but if you watch Colin's channel it's quite funny because him and his missus I felt quite silly for us because they're both blonde they got they're both they're both good looking people and they both have the same exact same tone and gradient of color of hair so for for ages when I watched their channel I thought they were brother and sister but they were not their boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever or husband or whatever I, mean. I was like whoops it's been sitting here for like 10 minutes it hasn't lit up and I said if you want to hurt me, like you want to hurt Guys, me. I'm having bad anxiety. Holy <laughs> I'm screaming. Holy <laughs> I just freaked out because that really Guys. scared me. Man. Yeah. I'm having super bad anxiety. Okay. Like really bad. To try and communicate with some of the previous inmates, Ryan and Colin locked themselves into two different cells. Ryan was hearing unexplainable sounds from the cell right next to him, while Colin received responses by having his flashlight turned on and off. He also heard footsteps that sounded like it was moving closer and closer to him. Was everything they recorded enough evidence that this prison is haunted by vengeful souls of previous inmates who suffered painful deaths? Or do you think there could be a more logical explanation to what is happening? If you want to watch the full investigation, visit their YouTube channel, Twin Paranormal. For now, let's move on to our next video. Pardon me? Our next video we found on the YouTube channel called Franco TV. We have featured the Old South Pittsburgh Good channel. Hospital in our previous video, and we have seen how Jordan from the Detune Twitch stream had an encounter with a strange shadow figure. However, years before that, Franco TV also conducted his own investigation at the hospital and managed to capture even more terrifying footage. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh. As he was exploring the hospital, he got to what used to be the pharmacy, and as he was getting close to the shelves, medicine bottles fly off and fall to the ground with no external force. He continues his exploration, and while in one of the rooms, a strange noise calls his attention, and as he runs out to the hallway, he saw something creepy and unexpected. Oh my god. Is that your horse? Do you like playing with the horse? I feel like this is like a child's spirit in this room. And it oddly got actually cold. Guys, I'm gonna get really close to this horse for you, so you guys can see. How did he even make that noise? Look. There is nothing around or attached to this horse. I just wanna make that clear for everyone. As he got closer to the source of the strange sound, he found that it was from a toy horse that was also rocking back and forth on its own, as if the spirit of a child was playing with it. He makes sure to show that there are no strings attached or anything that could be used to make it move. Checking back on footage from one of the cameras he positioned to focus on one of the hallways, he was shocked to see something that he didn't notice while it was happening. Oh. oh. Is this even more? Oh. God. That looks like a nun, didn't it? Oh, God. Oh, I've got chicken. I've got chicken going down. Oh. 
I mean, oh, I said I got heating on this room. God, look at that. Can you see it all right? Oh, God. oh I've got my hairs are very fine on there, but oh, God, I've got. Oh, that gave me chicken, that did. That's like a. That's like, I said, watch that again. That was like a. More proof that there. That was like a nun or something, wasn't it? <laughs> Is this even more proof that there are ghosts in the old South Pittsburgh hospital of patients who refuse to leave? Or is it possible that these spirits are not even aware that they are no longer of the living? You be the judge. If you want to watch the full investigation, visit their YouTube channel, Franco TV. Not too bad. I want to see something of nightmares. Uh, give me something, give me something to work of nightmares. Come on. They're good though, these are good, they're good. good. And incidentally, if you made it this far and you like it, then hit the like button. This next video we found on several locations around the internet, and we are unsure of its original source or who initially posted it. In this video, we see a man exploring a remote area in Japan, along with a friend in the middle of the woods, where he sees an abandoned bus. He starts checking around it, and when he looks inside, he accidentally recorded something menacing that was unlike anything he has ever witnessed. The Watch this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 it's magic. Oh, my God, look at that. Look at, let's get a look at that. Look at that. Look, stay at that. Ring. Oh, 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 oh. And there's no cut. And there's no cut in that footage as well. He just went like bang, shabang. As he is approaching the bus door, a face of a young girl can be seen looking at him through the window from oh, inside the God. bus. He quickly looks inside and we... Oh my God. That's horrible, isn't it? You can see that there was no one there. He also mentioned seeing the girl with his own eyes, proving that this could not have been some technical <laughs> glitch. Is it possible that an innocent spirit manifested itself to him to try and get help? Could she be some victim of an accident that could explain why the bus ended up in the middle of the woods? At this point, this will probably remain a mystery. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button oh, definitely, mate. and leave well, us a comment to tell us what you think. But before you do that, stay tuned for this next scary ghost story. Oh, here we you go. You wouldn't want to miss this. Come on. This next scary video comes from the ghost hunting team calling themselves the Tri-State Paranormal Investigators. The Cumberland Gap has a long history dating back to the mid-1700s. It used to be a treacherous passageway used in different periods of time, from the Native Americans to the Civil War. It has witnessed a lot of battles and ambushes, and needless to say, death, the painful and agonizing kind. The Tri-State Paranormal Investigators Neil and Lonnie went to the Cumberland Gap Inn in Tennessee after hearing from different guests of their creepy and mysterious experiences in the building. Hoping to record something paranormal, they packed their gear and were not disappointed.
Look at that. Something's sick on the bed. As Neil was sitting down on one of the beds, just waiting for something to happen, the bed in front of him moved as if an invisible being sat down. He sees this immediately and calls for Lonnie, and they both review the footage. After trying to recreate different ways that this could have happened, they could not come up with a logical explanation for what they recorded. Is it possible that a wandering soul from the area's painful past was with them during their stay at the Cumberland Gap Inn? If you want to catch the full investigation, visit their YouTube channel, Tri-State Paranormal mm. Investigators. Will do. Will How do. are you doing so far? Mm. Are you scared yet? No? We're Not scared, but I did get the chicken a few times because some of them are really creepy. Well, you will be after watching oh, this next video. Here we go. <laughs> Our final scary video comes from the YouTube channel of Shamos. Together with his team, he visits an abandoned house that is said to be haunted. As they arrive on location, one of their cameras captured something strange. Cool hoodie. God, I'm just, uh... <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh. Hello, did you see that? See. Oh, God. See. On their way to check the land surrounding the house, one of them points the camera back to the house, and for a split second, we see that the door is open and an apparition of an old woman dressed in black and white standing still. It is clear from their lack of reaction that they did not see anything at the time, even if more than one of them was looking back at the house at that exact moment. What makes this even creepier is how the camera rotated back just a second after, and the door was already closed, and the apparition was no longer... Imagine if I said, Hello, children. Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> ...longer visible. Did they accidentally record the ghost of an old lady who is haunting this place? If you want to catch the full video, visit their YouTube channel, Shamos. So, are these stories true? Leave your comments below and tell us what you think. I can tell you something that's really scary. The thought of what ghost may come to haunt you, if you dare not to watch our next video. <laughs> well, that was good. Some really creepy ones there, some some quality I've seen before and some that I haven't, so yeah. So, hmm, <clears throat> hey. So, let me know in, let me know how you felt in the comments below. Did you get the chicken? Did it did someone creep what one's creeped you out the most now? I don't know. And if you made it this far and you like this video, then hit the like. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe because we're great to have you here. And also don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos or uploads, etc. So, until next time, sleep tight.